It's Andre from the High Performance Academy and we're here at PRI 2013 with Pete from Precision Turbo. Now Precision are pretty well known in the US market for their Big Stuff 3 EFI systems. It's not a system we see too much over on our side of the world, but if you're in the US, particularly if you're running anything serious in the drag racing fraternity like ProMod, Big Stuff 3 is the only way to go. So Pete, thanks for joining us and talking a little bit about the system. First of all, can you tell us where the Big Stuff 3 system development came from? How did you get involved with uh, Big Stuff 3? Mm -hmm. um, over the years, we've always had a, a pretty good relationship with uh, John Meany from Big Stuff 3. Uh, you know, he uh, originally started with DFI Fast and uh, now Big Stuff 3 he uh, created. and. Uh, you know, he wanted to go after uh, you know a certain marketplace of drag racing uh, and street cars also, and uh, it's working out very well. So, in terms of that higher market, the the drag racing particularly, that that's where we see Big Stuff Three really makes its mark. What is it about Big Stuff Three that separates it from the other ECUs? Why is it so popular? Uh, th there's a lot of reasons, but uh, you really got to have precise control over the fuel and the timing with uh, the horsepower levels that uh, we're making nowadays to get them down the racetrack efficiently, and uh, uh, they really got a good handle on that. So let's talk about that power. We're talking pro mod. These cars are running five second passes. How much power are they are they producing? Uh, four to 5,000 horse, you know, uh, 4,500-ish, I, I would say. So these are, these are probably the world's most powerful EFI cars, would that be fair? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so one of the things about these cars is they're running methanol fuel. Obviously, you're making that much power, you need a lot of fuel to, uh, to keep everything running properly. And one of the things I see with Big Stuff 3 is the staged injection system. You've got 16 injector drives which allow staged injection, two injectors per cylinder on a V8 engine. Can you tell us a little bit about how that staging works? Yes, uh, most of the uh, Pro Mod cars and uh, anybody running methanol uses the Precision uh, 225 pound injectors, the, uh, the 550s. Uh, and basically it idles and uh, transitions from the 225 to the 550 pound injector uh, via preset duty cycle that you set and it seamlessly brings in those larger injectors. You can't even feel it or hear it. So that the smaller injector, the 225 pound, that, that allows the tuner to keep good control of the air fuel ratio at idle and, and light throttle settings and then when you really need that uh, fuel flow at high boost levels that's when the 500 pound injectors stage in as well. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, let's talk a little bit about tuning these cars because we know you are a tuner as well. Now, Precision are known for being able to supply a complete package. Now, you guys are able to supply everything from the ECU, the Big Stuff 3, the turbochargers, the wastegates and the fuel injectors and if you buy that whole package basically you can supply a turnkey map that's going to get you down the track before you start tuning and you're going to be running five straight off the trailer, is that right? It is, that's, that's one great thing at Precision Turbo and Engine that we can supply a complete turnkey package uh, like you said including turbos, wastegates, uh, fuel management, uh, intercoolers, e even the torque converter uh, and uh, we give them a startup map that's actually been down the racetrack. And, uh, you know, well, we have something for 99% of the combinations out there. And uh, you're right, they'll be running fives before they know it. So that's pretty important when you've got these engines. There's, there's no way you can dyno these engines. There's not dynos out there that uh, are really big enough to handle 4,500 horsepower. So the tuning has to be done at the track. So it's great to have that package that you know you can go to the track with the confidence you're not going to beat up and burn down an engine on your first pass while you're still trying to get a tune into it. From your perspective, when you're tuning these engines, what sort of data are you relying on? What sort of data are you feeding into the Big Stuff 3 that you can use to then touch up that tune? Mm -hmm. uh, what's most useful is, is the Y-Band 02. Uh, with, with the Big Stuff 3, it'll read down the 2.9. Uh, most of these uh, high horsepower methanol cars run in the 3.5 range, so that's important along with EGTs and uh, you know, dry shaft speed for getting it down the track and uh, all the other typical stuff like oil fuel pressure, turbo back pressure, you know, those are all, uh, all essential. 
Just going back a little bit there, you mentioned uh, two nine and three five. You're talking air fuel ratio there. Obviously, for people used to tuning on on petrol or normal race fuels, that's uh, just completely out of the ballpark. These are the sort of areas we're running on on methanol, which has a stoichiometric air fuel ratio of six point four. That's that's right. Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay, so. Again, we've got four and a half thousand horsepower, big block twin turbo V8. These these engines are basically able to produce enough power to to overpower the track at any point down the track. So, from a tuner's perspective, the challenge is really uh, matching the power delivery to the amount of traction available. How are you doing that? Uh, th through the Big Stuff Three, uh, you know, part of their their program is power management, and uh, there's a time based setting where you can basically draw the timing curve that you want from the start to the finish of the racetrack uh, to take power out in those critical areas uh, you know going down the racetrack so you don't overpower the tire. And that's something you'd be doing or the team would be doing run to run as the the racetrack changes as the grip comes and goes during the day? Yeah I mean basically after every pass you have to look at the uh, the weather, uh, you know, the track temperature and the data and, and, and make adjustments in between rounds. Great. Look, thank you very much for joining us today and having a chat, Pete. It's really interesting. Um, I'd really be, lo be love to be involved in training some cars at that level. You've got a really interesting job. Not a problem. We can teach anybody. Thank you. Thanks. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.